All right. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday, October 19th, 9.06 p.m. Day, uh, day 19 of my video, 30-day video diary challenge. Uh, I had PTO today, which was really nice. Um, I didn't have work, uh, which was wonderful. I got up a little late. Jenny didn't have work either today, so she was pretty much chilling as well. Um, so yeah, um, she took Zayla to uh, school, came back. Um, shortly after that, she went thrift store shopping. I was a little bit lazy and I drank coffee on the couch and just, uh, I think listened to music and podcasts. Um, and then I got up and cleaned the house, which was quite a task, but it felt good to have a night. It feels good to have a clean house. Um, and then after that, I went to get my flu shot. Um, and on my way to the flu shot, something happened today, which really kind of pissed me off. Um, it was a bit of road rage. So um, I was on this two lane road. Well, there's two lanes heading my direction. I was in the left lane. There was another person in the right lane. We were at a stoplight, which was red. Okay, the light turned green. Those two lanes merge into one lane. I always hate those because you don't know who should go first or not. I'm just, I've always, I just don't like those merging ones. Um, Jenny, however, doesn't really trip on that kind of stuff, but I do. I don't know. I wish I just didn't trip on it so much. So anyway, the person to the right of me, I was going to go, you know, kind of like beat them to it, but I saw them. So then I just kind of hesitated and I just let them go. So obviously, naturally, I would be next, you know, to go and, you know, right behind that driver. I see this person behind me speeding up. They were like way behind me speeding up to get ahead of me. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like, this is just about to merge right now. Like, what, what benefit is it to you to get ahead of me? I don't even know you from Adam. You just popped up out of nowhere. Like, what the hell are you doing? So I shouldn't have reacted, you know. Um, because, you know, just from experience working in the claims department for an insurance company, I know that that's not something you want to do, right? You don't want to react to these people. They, they've got an issue. Um, they're in a hurry or whatever it is. Um, so, but I reacted. I just hit the gas and I was like, fuck that. This person's not going to get ahead of me. You know, just my ego just went into overdrive. So both of us were like going for this lane where both like you know neck to neck next to each other the lane merges into one we're still holding together uh barely holding together you know like in the, we're just we're just in this lane we're about to hit each other inches away from each other and i just take a quick glance at the driver and it's just some 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 lady this black lady black girl you know she she wasn't too much probably around my age somewhere around then i would say and I was just like, and so um, she got into the lane because I'm like, you know, damn, I'm about to hit this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't want my car to get fucked up, you know, and I really thought she was going to chicken out, but she didn't. So apparently she doesn't value her car. She's just like, whatever, like she's willing to just go for it, you know, and I, and I kind of backed off. So I, she kind of took the lane that was in the center, uh, like the open center divider, you know, there's no actual structure there. It's just a flat center divider. So I crossed like these double yellow lines. And then um, I was like not having him. You know, my ego was like, fuck that. I'm not going to get behind you, you fucking punk ass bitch. So I just sped up. And like the person that was originally next to me that was in front of us, I sped up and I literally like was in the center lane and cut this person off, which was really fucked up. And the crazy thing is, is just as I was speeding up, I felt like they were kind of speeding up. But they slowed down and the crazy the craziest thing about this is as i'm going there's an actual structure island that's about to pop up because you know prior to that it was just a so double solid yellow line and it was just you know basically an island that you can drive onto you know whatever and pull a u-turn if you want um, but there was a structure coming up and i'm like fuck i'm about to hit this goddamn structure um but i made it and I cut her off, or whoever that person was, and I, I felt so bad, like, man, like, that's so wrong, you know, like, like, why did I even do that, I mean, it, I had the right away, though, like, what do you do in a situation like that, like, just let these people fucking, like, punk you like that, like, that's kind of what I felt, you know, so, 
anyway, um, I've learned that, and it's funny because it's not funny, but it's strange because just prior to that whole incident, I was praying. You know, I always make a prayer every day, or I've been making a habit. I've been doing that for about, uh, that was my 30-day challenge a couple months ago, and now it's carried on to a second month. i going on almost, you know, about a month and a half. Um, because I feel like it brings good energy, you know, so, and I've been doing it, but apparently, like, and I pray for, you know, like, for, you know, I pray for, you know, random weird things, you know, like, I pray for not, no assholes in my life, and any day, any particular day, whatever, I pray for um, goodness, I pray for uh, God, God to guide me in the right direction, and just uh, have me do the right things, and just be m much more of a righteous person, and everything I did was just unrighteous and wrong, you know, um, it's almost like my prayers didn't get, well, my prayers didn't get answered in that particular moment, and also, um, I feel like I was getting tested, like, I'm like, okay, I know in cases like this, I'm supposed to just, you know, practice what I prayed for, or at least, pra yeah, practice it, and also keep praying, you know, because at that very moment, I was like, fuck that, why would I even pray? Like, why? I just got fucking tested, you know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to help me out, God, but you fucking kind of, like, screwed me over, you know? But I've learned that, you know, that's not the way that it works, you know? I, I need to just continue praying and um, just uh, um, just be better, be a better person, you know? Because I kind of had Zayla with me. You know, this bitch was just fucking nuts, man, you know? And if that's what they want to do, I, I really should just let them have it, you know? Just go ahead and have it, you know what I mean? But, like, it's wrong. I have the right away. But, you know, this is a, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, um, that was that. And um, so, I, I know it's not a big deal. But what that does to me is it, it brings up all these old feelings of people that have kind of, like, done me wrong and ripped me off. And I'm thinking, like, when am I going to have my day to fuck all these people over? You know what I mean? Like, um and just, you know, it just, it's, it's like, I'm like a pressure cooker, you know, I'm about to pop open and, and fucking go nuts on somebody, you know what I mean? But, um, I, luckily I haven't had too many bad incidents, but I've had enough to where I haven't really addressed them, I guess, but, you know, they, it just pops up. It kind of fucks with my ego, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, that was that, and I ended up getting my flu shot. I came home, I walked for, I was going to either skate or walk today you know but I ended up walking for five miles only because like when I was cleaning earlier today my I pulled a muscle in my back so I'm like fuck I'm just gonna go on a walk which was nice you know it was pleasant I burned 600 calories five mile walk it took me about an hour and a half it was good it felt good um came home uh to a clean house which is always lovely and then Jenny came home shortly after that because she had been thrift store shopping all day we picked Zayla up and we came home and uh, now we're just chilling, you know. So I think I'm going to end this now, though, because this is pretty long, eight minutes. But um, just kind of wanted to vent about what happened today and I just share about my feelings, you know. But, yeah, I know this will pass, but um, hopefully I've learned something from it. That is, um, I can't react. I can't help it, though, sometimes, you know. It's a knee-jerk reaction. Something happens and you just, your first thought is not, oh, I want to be righteous, I want to do the right thing. Your first thought is like, what? Are you trying to, like, fucking... Like, pull, uh, pull something on me? Like, and you, you don't even think about that. You just go into, um, you go into, you know, your ego just goes into uh, overdrive and you just go nuts, you know. So I need to really evaluate these situations and think about them before I actually, you know, react next time. Anyway, um, that's all I got for now. Bye.